everybody, welcome back to another episode of Water to Wine. And as you see, I have the guest here. This is Charlotte. We call her Char. She's a friend, and not only friend, but a business partner. Mm -hmm. We're in financial services. Yes, we're rocking that business. Right. And we have a um, we have something that everybody needs. So yes. if you are in need of some financial services, reach out to us. Instagram, if you know this person, you can call me. Or Facebook, too. Exactly. Facebook. She's Charlotte. Uh, on Facebook, it's just my name, Charlotte Alberti. But on Instagram, it says Charb247. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Instagram is better than Alright. So you guys follow her. And you also have what coming? What you're working on? I am working on a book. I am also not only working in financial services. I'm also a certified life coach. Yay! Mm -hmm. And one of my niches is relationships. And that's what's going to be my first book on. It's going to be relationships, which is going to be my opinion, but not law. So look for that to come real soon. All right. So follow her so you'll so you know when it comes up. All right. So you guys, we have two new wines. This one right here. Ready for I'm ready, boy. I'm Friday too. <laughs> yes, that's why we have these episodes. But they won't see it for Saturday, but still. But still, we on Friday. And <laughs> <laughs> so then this is called the Century. Okay. So Cabernet Sauv. You know how to say that word? I forget. I just. Sauvignon. Cabernet Sauvignon, I think. I don't know. Y'all know what it is. It's right. You know, Google found it. If you, <laughs> if you can see it. Okay. <laughs> so. All right, so we're gonna start with the conundrum. Mm -hmm. And because I know you said you like red wine, I got. I love red wine. Red wine. Any red wine, dry, sweet, really? Yeah, oh, I'm a red wine drinker. <laughs> I don't really care. Dry. Yeah, dry wine is my favorite, but dry white wine is definitely not my forte. Dry white wine. I'm very very dry. <laughs> All right, so the facts about this one, mm -hmm. it is a 14.6 alcohol volume. Oh, that's a good one. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it is from the state of California. Okay, one of the best wines. Right. Nice. The varietal is a red blend. The style is elegant. Okay. The pink is up. And the taste is black cherry and chocolate. Mmm, nice. Right. The chocolate, I have had the chocolate right when I like it. Yeah, I can have the chocolate. I can have the chocolate. I can have the chocolate. Okay. So, it's a medium body wine. Right? And the description they have is rich in velvety. Yeah, it's very rich. Yeah. Rich in velvety oh. aromas of oral notes with tones of lavender, dried berries, and baking chocolate. Mm -hmm. Silky round entry with acid to balance the high food concentration. Nice. So, there we go. Did I, I didn't give them a close up of the bottle, but so y'all can go look for it. I got it at Total Wine and it was $19.97. Right. Now, I'm going to say Yeah, I know you guys smell it. It smells so good. Smell it does smell good. I can smell the grape. Nice. All right. I like that. Because I'll tell you why I like it. Because I'm not so, so, so sweet as I get mm -hmm. older, but I definitely don't like no real, real dry things like you. <laughs> okay? So this is great. It's not as sweet as I thought it was going to be, but it's pretty good. Yeah, it's good, right? It's not sweet, sweet. Like, it's kind of like semi-sweet. Mm -hmm. Like some, like some Rizlins out there that's like semi-sweet and mm -hmm. that the I think this type of wine is too. That one, yeah. yeah. That, I've had some of the other Cabernet. Yeah, it's kind of semi-sweet, but it's not dry, dry like you just be like. Right. You be like they like wine, yeah, girl. <laughs> just give it to me. I thought like, I'm liking it up the top of the cup. It don't mm -hmm. matter. Cause some of them dry in my mouth. You don't like that. Yeah, like Chardonnay. I was watching this one video where they said 
that means that she needs something. Else. I don't. I forgot. Cheese. What? So you know they always just drink wine with cheese. You know. So since I'm doing that food thing now, so I'm like reviewing certain like restaurants. Oh yeah. Mm. Started that on my Instagram. That's on my story. It might not be available, no, but it will. Maybe I posted something. But you know, starting um, with stuff, and I got the uh, what did I call it? The best food of oh, discover the food of Duval. Yes, yeah, search the hashtag. Yes, because I am gonna be adding stuff to that, and um, I'm the conflicted eater because I love plant based food, mm. but. I like me some seafood, some shrimp, maybe not so more red meat because I discovered the Beyond Burgers, which is really special in the air fryer. to try. Especially in the air fryer. Mm -hmm. Get you some Beyond Burgers that you can shake yourself and season, you'll like it. So, you know, if you can just start carrying out the <laughs> food with some wine right. and start going to different restaurants, you can do that. I'm all about it. And then come back and say, hey, maybe you can just review them whenever I'm a guest on the show. So let me tell you guys what the pairing says. It says it is a perfect complement to rich flavored, mm -hmm. I'm sorry, richly flavored or spicy foods like spaghetti, bol mm -hmm. bolognese. Oh, bolognese sauce. Bolognese. Yeah, yeah, bolognese sauce. Asian or Indian cuisine, Mexican, Mexican can, tacos or fajitas. I can, I can really see that being really paired with that. Yeah, mm -hmm. because of the uh, the not so sweetness that we talked about, mm -hmm. and it, it kind of seems like yeah, like me, I can eat some both together. Yeah, that is thing by the time. And uh, Mexican tacos or fajitas, smoked meats, and of course, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. or barbecue. If I bring out the flavor of the food, too. Yeah, I'm a foodie, so whether it be plant based or not, I'm eating the best. <laughs> <laughs> well, see, we gotta get together, bring us some wine. But you cook this stuff too? Um, I'm going to start to cook it when I move into my new house. I'm gonna be um, cooking from scratch plant based food. Okay, because I don't cook like that. So. Yeah, I, I want to start cooking it, but. Meantime, I'm just going to taste it. You're going to be discovering some great food in Duval. Yeah, food and wine. So. It's going it's gonna to work out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's just hard to have the morning of the day. Exactly. <laughs> All right, so moving on to the second one. This is the eccentric Cabernet. Mm. Sauvignon. Sauvignon. That's it. Sauvignon. Alright, look, it can be bad. He's a whole crowd there. 48. Not okay. <laughs> <laughs> it was here, but it wasn't here. So unfortunately, this is me in real life, so he deals with this all the time. So you know you first meet me it's a shock, and then you just be like, oh, this That's is really sharp. This is really how she is. Sharp. It's just sharp. <laughs> look, it's just sharp. <laughs> yeah, so you can see me playing. <laughs> Them, them dumb, them dumb uh, sitcoms. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. All right. I do too. It's nothing like time. Come on. Especially that's a long day. Mm -hmm. Although I really don't work that hard because I work in financial services. Right. So I still work a full time job. So I still go through it. We gonna work on that. Yes, we are. <laughs> All right. So this one has a thirteen. It's just a straight thirteen. Thing. Actual body. Uh, pick this up at Total Wine as well. Mm -hmm. And this one was only nine ninety nine. So. I like a good cheap wine. Okay. This thing goes by fourteen. Cheap wine look, ain't always bad. Look like this. Look. Yeah, that huh? <laughs> <laughs> Like four dollars. I saw a couple of them and I was like, Look, mm -hmm. okay, that's gonna be when the show take off. So right. y'all keep on subscribing, then maybe we'll get some four four dollar wine. Right, right now, ten dollars. Okay, <laughs> ten dollars. We ain't going over fifteen. Ten dollars. Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so this one is from Argentina. Ooh, down there different from this one. And the region is Mendoza. And it's a red line, of course, Dorado. 
Cabernet Sauvignon. Mm -hmm. And the style is intense. Ooh, okay. Mm -hmm. And the taste is very current and full. Mmm, that's good. And it's a full body wine. <laughs> and it pairs well with beef, grilled lamb, and poultry. Mmm, it's a dinner wine. Yes. I saw something that said anything you can do. Oh, okay. That is good. 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 That is Summer wine, you know, you just drink, look like this. What you drinking? Wine, the stuff you drink, the stuff that you drink at the um, at the cookout. Some people might have them in red cups, but we prefer, you right. know. I actually saw the red cup in uh, total wine. It was like a wine cup, right? Yeah. But it's a solo? Yeah. He's the one though. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. I almost got it. I might go back to it. So, yeah, so, uh, yeah, so it's very good. And not only that, it's, um, it is definitely not dry, it's not dry to me. Yeah. And it's not sweet. So we both drink, we're drinking truly semi-sweet wine tonight. Mm -hmm. I like when both of them are like that nice choice. To get it messed up good. So you know it won't throw you off, your taste off. So not over sweet, just like I like red wine. You can drink right. a couple of glasses of this and your mouth still be okay. You don't need to chase it with water, <laughs> Look. <laughs> But, um, so this is for your wine people that don't like too sweet and don't like too sweet. Yeah. Both of these wines do. Yeah, they're both neck and neck. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. But I forgot to read the uh, description of it. Mm -hmm. It's floral and bright with big fruit yeah. that glass out of the glass and is extremely approachable. Yeah. Um, combining with fresh raspberry and black currant notes. And this, and this a fun punch Mm -hmm. Tanny Cabernet that over delivered. But see, I told you, see, it's that summer wine. Yeah. And I can see the floral in it, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because you can place a flower. You can just suck it up and suck it up with flower petals. Flower petals? I mean, it said floral, so I just. <laughs> <laughs> it's the wine. <laughs> Blame it. <laughs> Blame it on the wine. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I love her. This is fine. This is fun. I be me 24-7. <laughs> Follow us both on Instagram. You're right. gonna get some fun posts. And we're also gonna talk about how to take these kinds of tricks. Exactly. No more uh no fun. Okay. No. Now that's very, very necessary. So we're trying to see I just have this break. I'm going to pour a little bit more. <laughs> Out there looking. Well, we act. Okay. We're just about at the end of the show, though. <laughs> Is there anything else that you want to tell the people? No, just look for um look for another show next week. Hopefully, most likely, I'll be a guest again. Future um endeavors with food. Mm -hmm. Add it. More wine, more delicious wine. wine. Look for live wine tasting. We mm -hmm. talked about that. Starting off with Around Duval, of course. And mm -hmm. then um, that book I got coming out, it's my opinion, not law, relationships. Do you have a, um, because well, I know you just started yes. to get together. Uh, I will have a website coming up for my life coaching very soon. It's going to be called um, It Takes a Village Life Coaching dot com. Okay. So look for that because I already got the domain. So I just need to create the website. Cool. So if y'all know anybody can create a website and um, or that's independent and would love to create my website, reach out to me on my DM and Instagram. And I love for you to create um, my website because I like to support people. I like to support small businesses. Like I like for people to support me. I do support and I do promote. Yes, <laughs> all right. Well, that's all. 
I want to thank you guys for tuning in, and we will see you guys next week. Bye.